Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today, finally, with my Ulta haul. You guys know if you have me on Snapchat. If you don't, what are you doing? Add me. But if you have me on Snapchat, you guys watched me freak out all day yesterday because my package was supposed to be here like yesterday during the day sometime. It didn't get here till 9 o'clock last night. My grandma ass was already in bed. Like, I was passed out, tired as fuck. I cleaned all day yesterday. All that waiting stressed me the fuck out. So by like 7.30 and 8 o'clock, I was in bed already. Like, I was grandma as fuck, vieja as fuck. I was already in bed. However, I'm excited because she is here, finally. So let's dig in. Here we have the boxes intestines. We don't need any of this shit. Ooh, girl, the first thing I see is this big ass holographic box. I'm so excited. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to go for is obviously the stuff that's on top, and the first thing I see is this little bag thing. This just has two little samples. I got the Hangover RX from Too Faced, and then I also got the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which I actually have tried and I really like it, so it's cool to have a backup just in case. Alright, so the main reason I did this haul in the first place was for the Wet n Wild collection, obviously. However, I was very, very interested in trying out some Makeup Revolution, especially after my Kat Von D versus MUR video, you guys all know about that. But I've seen so many amazing reviews of the MUR brand itself, and I was really, really, really wanting to try some of their highlighters and their eyeshadows, so I got two of each. Alright, so the first two things I picked up were two of the Vivid Baked Highlighters. This one is in Peach Lights, and this other one is in Radiant Lights. I just shook the entire table. I have heard so many incredible things about these highlighters, and the one thing that I like most about these is the fact that they don't have a lot of glitter in them, but you can definitely tell there's a sheen to them, so it's going to be a very natural glow from within kind of highlight, which I personally prefer. So will go ahead and just very gently put my finger into the product. There it is on my finger, and we'll put that one right here. Oh yeah. That's going to be a very beautiful natural glow from within kind of highlight. I am very excited to use these. Kathleen Lights has these and she recommends them all the time. She used it in her last video actually. And it looks so beautiful on her skin. So I'm very excited to see these on my skin. I purposefully left off highlighter for today's video because I wanted to try these highlighters. So I'm going to go in with my Royal and Langnickel Highlight and Glow Brush really lightly. Ooh, that is incredibly powdery look. We're gonna put that right here. I mean, there's definitely a glow there. There's a sheen there and it looks kind of natural, so I don't know. I might love these, I might absolutely hate these, we'll find out in the near future. So, but those are the first two things I picked up from MUR. And then I also got these two things from MUR. These are two different palettes. I really expected these to be a lot bigger than what they are. They're actually very, very small palettes. So this is the No Photos Please Super Intense Eyeshadows Palette. It comes with a free eyeshadow primer, a very small one. And then, uh, how the fuck? Oh! So this packaging is absolutely adorable. <gasps> Ooh, girl, that looks like it's going to be super pigmented. All right, so this is what the palette looks like. It's very, very pretty. So as you can see, there are 10 different super intense eyeshadows. The one thing I don't like about this is how small the pans themselves are. It's going to be so hard to get a brush into there. But besides that, I mean, it's just it's a gorgeous palette. And you guys know I love my jewel tones, and this is full of jewel tones, so I'm very excited about that. And then this is the hashtag selfie palette. Does this not remind you of one of the naked palettes? Which one is it? If you guys know what I'm talking about, which palette it is, leave your comment down below and tell me. But that reminds me a lot of the naked palettes. Is anybody else obsessed with the holographic packaging that comes with this collection? Like, I am living, I am obsessed with this so much. The one thing I appreciate about Wet n Wild is how well they package everything when it comes to shipping. Like, there's like five layers of this shit in the packaging alone. So, this is what we have on the inside. Freaking huge. I have to like move over to make room for it in this shot. The tray that all the products came in, this thing right here, the top of it where all the products are housed, it feels like velvet. 
It's almost as if they were trying to like mimic what unicorn fur would feel like, which I think is super, super cool. But anyways, this is what the collection looks like out of the box. So we have three different eyeshadow pigments on the bottom, two different lipsticks, three different highlighters, and of course right over here we have a beautiful like holographic highlighting brush. So this is the first thing in the collection that I am very excited about, and I'm hoping that Wet n Wild comes out with an entire line of these brushes. And this is what this beauty looks like, as you can see there's some different colors in it. I love it. The brush itself, oh my god, it feels so good. It feels exactly like the line of the white and pink ones they came out with last year. It feels just as good as those, so I'm very excited to try this on my face. I don't want to use it today, I want to use it in a first impressions alongside the three highlighters. So I'm going to leave it in this little packaging right here so it doesn't get ruined. Alright, so the two lippies that came with this collection are both iridescent lip colors. This first one is in Immortal Tears. I'm going to go ahead and open that like this and that is what the first lippy looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that for you guys. I'm not gonna apply it because once again I want to create a look with all of these in one video like a first impressions actually using it on my face. But we're gonna place this right here and see what happens. Ooh, girl! Again, this shade is in Unicorn Tears and this is the white one in the collection. And then the second one you get is in Unicorn Soul, which is the blue one. This one is a very, very vivid like teal almost color and we're gonna put that one right here. Oh, oh god, these are freaking beautiful. I am in love with both of these. I cannot wait to use either of these on my face. Alrighty guys, so now we have the three loose pigments in the collection. One is in Unicorn Wishes. The purple one is in Mythical Dreams. And the third one is in Pegasus Flutter. Now this one's a little bit weird because looking at it straight on, it looks almost like a very light, like lilac -y or lavender or pinky shade. But when you shift it, it's got shifts of blue and purple included in it so I'm not sure what this is gonna look like but right off the bat I'm in love with the packaging I wish every company would do this it comes with number one a sifter to control the messes that you create when you're using these products not only is it a sifter but it's one that can be reshut Ooh, that's actually really pretty. So it does have more of like a lilac-y, pinky sheen to it, as you can see right there. So I'm guessing it's not supposed to be like super pigmented, but I can imagine what this would look like with primer or over like a very, very dark eyeshadow look. Next, I'm going to go in with Unicorn Wishes. We're going to go ahead and rub this one in. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. So this one is Unicorn Wishes. Now this one looks a little bit weird to me. This is super, super glittery. Can you guys see the glitter that's catching in the light? So this last one is in Mythical Dreams, and it is the purple one. We're gonna use that for a swatch. That one is beautifully pigmented. That is gorgeous. Imagine this over a very dark black eyeshadow. Can you imagine how beautiful that would look? Just out of curiosity, I poured a little bit more of Unicorn Wishes. All right, so I guess I just blended it out way too much, but that is Unicorn Wishes right there. That's a much better swatch than the one I initially did. So yes, I really like that now. I really had to pack in the color into one area instead of just blending it out all over the place because you really don't see the color. All right, so I'm not going to swatch the rainbow one because that one's going to be for you guys. So instead of swatching and ruining the one that I'm going to give away to you guys, I'm obviously going to show you guys the one I personally bought for myself when these first launched. This is the Unicorn Glow Highlighter that started everything for this collection. Aesthetically, it's very, very pleasing to the eye as well. I'll go ahead and swatch this for you guys. There it is in the finger, and we'll put her right there. It gives you this beautiful, beautiful multicolored sheen to your face. So if you're going to a festival, or for Halloween even, or if you're someone who just loves the rainbow, you can wear this and it gives you a very, very unique look to your cheek as far as a highlight, which I definitely love. So the two other highlighters you get are both rainbow highlighters, even though I only really see the rainbow in it. This first one is in Everlasting Glow and it's got the pinky sheens to it. And the other one is in Bronze Over, which is obviously the more bronzy gold one. Alright guys, so that is about it for this Ulta haul. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up as always. Subscribe if you're not already. Just to give you guys an idea of what to expect over the next few days, I have a massive Colourpop haul coming in Tuesday of next week, so look out for that. I have been very, very bad over the past like two weeks as far as shopping. I'm not on a no-buy by any means. If 
I see it, I buy it because I want to, and it's my money, I'll do what I want with it. As you can see, my collection is huge, and I have a lot of makeup that I really want to circle through and just get rid of if I don't use it. So I've been trying to avoid buying certain things that have come out, even though it's been very, very hard. And obviously, I haven't been doing that well, seeing as how I have both these hauls coming to my channel. But honestly, guys, this is my job. This is my love. This is my passion in life. I love makeup. I love everything about it. It just makes me so happy. So with that being said, whenever it comes to people judging me for buying makeup or having too much makeup, I kind of just ignore them because we all have our thing that we love. And honestly, in a world as shitty as the one that we live in right now, especially with fucking Cheeto make no dick in the fucking presidency, there's nothing wrong with everyone having that one thing that they go to to make themselves happy. And makeup just happens to be mine. So yeah. If I see a palette and I want it, I'm gonna buy that bitch. If I see a highlighter and I know I have a thousand of them at home, it doesn't matter. It's not that one, so I'm gonna buy that bitch. If I see a fucking red lippy that looks like every single red lippy in my collection, girl, guess what? I'm going by that bitch. So, yeah, I, I have no shame in my makeup hoarding game. I love it. I use all of it. And that's that. If you don't like it, don't wash it. You know what I mean? But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said earlier, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.